Larson did not get the start that he wanted. He's going to have to work hard to get the outside of Jimmy Johnson here. Oh, McMurray three wide. Wow, he's sideways. Oh, no, 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 no. The crash. Crash. Ben Skyway. Big wreck going into three. I mean, look at him. A wreck everywhere. I think they made it to the overtime line. Now NASCAR will have to look at video to determine whether the leader was at the overtime line or not before the caution. So many good cards. We're having great days here, all wadded up in the third turn. And Jimmy Johnson will tie Cale Yarborough on Stock Car Racing's all-time win list. Johnson wins his 11th at Dover. He's got a lot of fans here in Dover because they're all cheering for that. And the rule is if the leader gets to the overtime line, which is right at the R in Dover, on the back straightaway, directly opposite start finish there, he's passed there, and we're still green, that's the race. The next flag, yellow or checker, ends the race. Yeah, and that wreck was happening, but the caution really didn't come out until they were in turn three. Watch Ty Dillon. It's loose, then a little bit of contact between he and his teammate Ryan Newman. Hard contact, 77 and a 13 there. And then it's on. Yep. And he gets into the one ball. Is that McMurray down there? McMurray. Bain. Bam. Jimmy Johnson. Where is he? He's in that big haze. Take Jimmy taking the checkered flag he is today's Sunoco fueling victory. And out in victory lane for the celebration, Rick Hendrick there, and Jimmy Johnson conquers Delaware once again. Growing up, his hero was Cale Yarbrough. He loved the Hardee's 28 paint scheme. He even went to a Hardee's one time, hoping to see the car in person. He started the day wearing a special helmet with Cale on it. Jimmy, not very often an athlete grows up trying to chase his childhood hero today. You matched Hall of Famer Cale Yarbrough. How impactful for you the feeling of this win? Yeah, that's uh, such a great way to say it. I mean, I never thought I would end up here in NASCAR as a kid racing in the dirt out in Southern California. And you know, I was a big Cale Yarbrough fan. And uh, I remember going to a race in Oklahoma with my parents and my brother. We're driving across the country and we pull up to a Hardee's. I had no idea it was a burger stand, and I, I really thought when I walked in the doors I was going to carry a grocery race shop. It was so, very disappointed. I had a burger and left, and then understood the world of sponsorship. So uh, to be here to tie him at 83 wins, uh, we just got the tribute helmet. I wasn't sure if, how quickly we'd be, or if we'd be able to go there and get it done. But uh, Kale, you're the man. Thank you for all you've done, done for our sport, um, and then to be a part of one team, one sponsor. Uh, Lowe's, Chevrolet, Valvoline, Gatorade, support of the fans. Uh, this is an amazing day. And I do have one artifact that we found from my friend Lauren Rainier, one of Kale's old hats. <laughs> so many parallels between Jimmy and Kale. Humble beginnings, championship winning drivers.